Hello. Well, there's one thing we know for sure, and that's that Robert Mueller is not going to have his schedule dictated to him by Rudy Giuliani. But at the same time, there are there are some guidelines about uh, investigations not interfering, directly interfering with elections. But then again, Donald Trump is not on the ballot directly. But, but my question is, with all of this information piling up and is Robert Mueller going to kind of go silent on the investigation publicly but in September and October before these in these two months before the election is he going to is Robert Mueller going to just lock down just not have not indict anybody just is, is, is he really just going to shut the public side of it down until after the midterm elections? I'm getting a feeling of no, not entirely. Um, but we'll see what the cards say. The feeling is that some of this, some of this can't wait. Some of it can't wait because people could flee. Things could, they, they need time to kind of massage certain witnesses. But we'll, to get to bigger fish, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Let's see what the cards say. Is Muller. Hard at work. He is a busy man. Very, very busy man. I imagine even with as much organization as possible, Robert Mueller's office probably looks like a like a paper factory exploded into piles, that's my guess. In the past. He's had big cases in the past, but nothing like this. Not a big surprise there. He has seen something in the Trump investigation. He's seen something really, really bad. Something really, really bad. And this is what keeps him going. This is what keeps the horse moving forward. This is someone in Robert Mueller's past, a colleague, co-worker, actually I'm starting to get the kind of some Comey feelings off that card. Comey let his emotions get away with him. Mueller's not going to let that happen. Whatever he does, it's not going to be out of emotion. But he's going to make sure of that. Yep, yeah, that's, what, that's what that is. He's practically got a picture of Comey nailed to the wall of don't do this. He's very aware of it, and he's very aware of his toes crossing that line and getting into water, possibly murky water. But the, the corruption is dense. It is, it's, all the money corruption is just the, the thickest tangle, and it's theft. It's all money laundering, it's all theft. It's all stolen money. And it is it is the, the thickest thicket you can think of. Oh, and they've been doing this a long time. They've been hiding money here, throwing money there, tuck this under here, put that over there, call it this, call it that, corruption. The the sheer level of corruption we're talking about. At the Trump Organization, at the in the campaign, I mean, it gets to a point where it's like, did did these did these people ever drink a cup of coffee that wasn't bought with stolen money? I mean, it's it's so thick. 
it's just corruption and theft and ugh. so Muller's going through all the smoke screens and saying okay this is what's actually happening this is what actually went on it's you know, out of the murk it's like okay this is what they did with these people this is what they did with this money they used this real estate to so he's he's just working his way through it staying as unemotional as possible and there are some victims here some direct there are some direct victims here that he knows about some people who are weak or smaller some people who have directly suffered for all of this this isn't all just a, an interesting little shell game there are there are actual victims and he's very cognizant of that home environment god bless you robert muller God bless you for doing this and sticking to your guns. This is, this is very steady energy. It's heavy, but it's steady. And it's hard. This is, this is hard, hard work. Over a long period of time. Home environment, yep. Sort of truth, whatever it takes. Not out of vindictiveness, not out of emotion. Use emotion judiciously, only when necessary to help move the case forward. But it's coming. The hand of God kind of justice. He doesn't think of it that way, but that's what's coming. He's not that full of himself. Hopes and fears. He's worried about the, um, Muller's worried about the people on his team who may be discredited, maybe have their lives damaged by willing to go up against his powerful forces. But his, the, the people working with him, for the most part in law enforcement, at whatever level, are saying whatever it takes. They're, most of them are the exact kind of people who are perfect for this. They're not, they're not the world's most humorous people. <laughs> they're not uh, life of the party kind of people. But they believe in justice and they believe in helping those less fortunate. And they have no patience for this. They don't see this as clever because they know the damage this does. What other people see? He is large and in charge. Your Honor, exhibit A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, D, G, <laughs> And then we have these exhibits here. And then we have these exhibits there. And then we have this evidence here. And then we have... It's almost infinite. He's got it. Final outcome. This is him walking into court, and metaphorically, him, his prosecutor says, just walking into court. Walking into court and kicking over some of this corruption. He's not going to go after everything. He still has... One of those is going directly after the president. He's not going to go after the president directly before the midterms. No way. Whoever whoever he sees is number one and number two. In this, the real... I mean, Don Jr. did a bunch of stupid, selfish, boneheaded things. Meeting with the Russians and uh, the Trump, Trump Corporation finances are a disaster but um he's not going to go after the president Mueller's not going to go after the president before the midterms 
but yeah, he's there's going to be some there's going to be some legal blood on the floor. It's a little bit lesser, but there's definitely going to be some legal blood on the floor between now and, and the midterm elections. So he's fighting the good fight, and it's it's a very heavy, heavy energy. Steady on. All right. Thank you for watching.